six foot diamondback rattlesnake was found in Jacksonville Beach today after a homeless man claimed God told him to keep the snake safe. That's according to the Jacksonville Beach Police. Officers told the man to put the snake into a patrol car, and you can see it is rattling its tail in the back seat. FWC was able to trap the snake and release it. In this video, you can see how long that snake is. New at 5, Action News Jax, Beth Rousseau explains the man said he was protecting it from traffic. And a family that I spoke to said the man walked by wearing this rattlesnake straight past these windows at the Best Western. Police say that they actually found the man here in this public parking lot still having hold of the snake. This video shows an angry diamondback rattlesnake in the back of a Jacksonville Beach police patrol car. And then he goes, snake, I want you to bet. I'm like, ah! snake. Just minutes before, families say a man was wearing the snake around his neck. I said to everyone, it's a rattlesnake, and we ran outside. And it caught all our attention because it wasn't wrapped around like somebody with a boa. Police tell Action News Jax they received several complaints about a homeless man walking through the downtown area with the rattler. They found him in this public parking lot with the snake. The man claimed to be an agent of God. All of a sudden I just saw a police and he just was like staring at him until he put the snake in the car and the guy just had it still wrapped around his head. Officers say the man who found the snake slithering on the side of the road eventually put the six foot serpent into the back of the patrol car where it stayed until Florida Fish and Wildlife came to collect it. They were terrified and staying as far away as they could from the car. FWC sent me this video of the snake being released into a wooded area. Now they all know that they're not supposed to walk up and touch any snake because you never know. It could be something venomous. And Police tell us that the man who had the snake was not taking into custody. He was not, he's not facing charges, I should say, and that most importantly, he wasn't bitten. We're live in Jacksonville Beach this evening. Beth Russo, CBS 47, Action News Jax.